My name is Alone and welcome to episode number two of the Hardcore Egg Iron Man. So I've actually changed up the rules a bit or uh, not really changed them up too much but fortified them to make them a lot easier to do and have more fun with this account. So instead of going through all of them I will actually write them out all on the screen right now. The major ones of course being that I am now able to do any quests that give for example if I'm right now for example assigned a magic experience I can do any quest that gives magic experience regardless of it giving other skills experience as well so otherwise there would just be way too many things that were locked for this account and uh, things will take literally 10 years to complete so that's the major thing that I've uh, changed but if you want to read all of it you can see it on the screen right now but let's begin the video so as I said in the end of the last video I was assigned a magic but I don't really have any money for the runes so I am going to try and see if I can complete this easy clue that's why I'm entirely right now completing the first step let's see if I can get some money from this easy clue if I can actually complete it okay green hat cream robe top and leather chaps I might be able to complete that I will have to look into if I can actually buy these items okay I won't be able to do that clue scroll because getting the leather chaps is pretty much impossible I could get the other items but they would cost a lot of money so I'm not going to do that right now I'm actually just going to do the witch's potion quest I don't really need anything for that and uh, meanwhile I'm doing it if I see any imps I will just cast wind strike on them because uh, well I can train magic and if I want to kill these I can get the uh, beads for the imp catcher quest which also gives magic experience and because of that of course I'm starting the timer now of the one hour oh second kill and I get the yellow bead already so pretty nice uh, hopefully it doesn't take too many kills to get the beads regardless if I don't actually get all of them within this hour and be able to complete the quest I can do it on the next time I get magic <laughs> it's pretty crazy actually getting all the items that I needed for this quest uh, was uh, quite a struggle I, it actually took me 21 minutes of my time that's how long it took to get 325 magic experience. But nonetheless the quest is done and I am now 8 magic. I think as I don't have pretty much any money on this account right now and I can't buy runes. I have went all the way here to the Archaeos library to do 30 minutes now of uh, book chasing for the uh, last 30 minutes. So it's soon one hour and I couldn't actually find the last book here but uh, I do actually have some books here in the inventory and I've already used some. I am currently, well I'll see what I am right now. 15 magic so these just give even more experience for every level that you get. 165, 176. Can I get another level? Yes I did. 187, 187 and there is the one hour done so I will reset it. Let's see what level we ended on. 17 magic. Something I wanted to do before I pick another skill is actually two different quests. The first one is Client of Current now that I'm already here. And I'm not going to use these uh, antique lamps just yet. I will use them probably on the next skill that I pick. I'm not sure if you can actually bank them. I don't think you can but I will try that. But I also want to complete the... Uh, X marks the spot quest for I think a free beginner clue but I already have one in the bank so yeah I still just want to complete it regardless and also I'm going to use this favor certi certificate on Piscarillo's favor because it is by far the most annoying one I remember that from the Twisted League so 20% in that very nice I actually dropped the beginner clue that I had in the bank so I'm going to get another one so there we go I can maybe actually complete that and 200 coins but this is for the main thing another antique lamp of 300 experience so I have a total of 1.3k experience here so let's see what skill I will put them in if it is something that is completely useless to put them in I will try to bank them otherwise I'll just probably keep them in my bag until I get a better skill slayer uh now I'm going to probably keep them right now, so we'll try to bank them. Of course now that I have Slayer, the first thing I'm going to do is complete the, uh, whatever this is called, I can't remember, but uh, 1000 Slayer experience and 1000 Hunter experience is now done, and I am 9 Slayer, so let's get to the first Slayer assignment. I'm very curious of what it's going to be. I am so ready to get the most annoying monster ever. Let's see what the first assignment of the account is going to be. 13 Minotaurs. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a task. I had pretty much almost exactly the money to buy both a iron sword and a steel sword, so uh, I'm going to use melee for this task. Because I haven't got fishing yet as a skill, I kind of have to pick up this meat right here because I don't have any fish cooked in my bank. So I will have to do that for this task, which is kind of awkward, but 
3 HP healing food is not too bad, I guess. Now that I do have the chance, I will do some attack training and possibly some defense training as well. And uh, yeah, you can see, these are only level 12, but they are still hitting me very consistently. I'll make sure not to die. Not the most exciting task, really, that I've ever done, but uh, I'm pretty close to 10 Slayer now, and the levels that I gained from that was 5 attack and 3 defense, and it's been 41 minutes, so... I'm probably not going to be able to do a lot more than that. I'll get a new task at least. Actually, 37 rats. I can probably do that in the time frame, but I have to use my Lumbridge teleport. Hopefully it's off cooldown. Yep. Also, by the way, I got this bronze full helm as an upgrade, so that's pretty nice. And some coin drops and a copper ore. This will have to be the last rat. Uh, it has been 58... 49. But I don't actually have more food and I don't really want to risk dying on my hardcore Iron Man this early and I only have 6 HP. So this will have to be the hour, I will reset the timer and let's get another skill. And please let it be something that I can actually put these lamps on so I don't have to have them in my inventory for like 10 years. The skill is... Strength. Damn it. So what I decided to do with that one hour of strength is just kill a bunch of cows and I'm about to, uh, with two seconds left here, finish up this last cow. And uh, I have gained about 135 cow hides, I would say, which is super good for crafting if I would roll that. That's the reason why I did it. And also I gained some hit point levels and I'm now 21 strength. So I actually got, I think, 11 strength levels from that. So let's shake the egg and see what skill I get now. Let's see if I can actually get a skill that I can use my lamps on. That would be perfect. Agility, perfect. Let's actually use all of these now instantly on agility. And then go straight to probably Varrock and do the course there. So agility is the perfect one. It's, I've been waiting for that. Let's see what level I got with the lamps. 10. Okay, that's perfect. I don't know why I thought Varrock was 10 agility. It's actually 30, but I'm 20 now and it's only been 21 minutes actually. So it's time to go to Al Karid and I might be able to get 30 within the one hour. I didn't quite get 30 agility, but uh, here we go. That is the one hour done and I'm fairly close to it at least. And I got 14 marks of grace. 27 is where I ended and that is really good. I can really feel the difference actually in my run speed already. But let's get another skill. What is it going to be now? Cooking. Pretty easy, I think. Now that I have the chance, I'm going to do Gertrude's Cat, and I have to get a raw sardine for that, but as I can do fishing, I'm going to buy one from the Garant's fishing business here, so I'm going to buy a few of them, because I can also use them for cooking. And this will be the end of Gertrude's Cat. Very easy quest, took me about 15 minutes to do all the things that I have to do, including getting the sardines, so there is the cat as well, and some food as well. I'll actually need this chocolate cake in the future for another quest. And uh, 16 cooking from 10, not bad. So for the remainder of the time, I'm going to first cook these things that I already had in the bank, but then I'm going to go and get red berries because I need to make some red berry pies. That won't give me experience in any other skill than cooking, and I also need a red berry pie in the future anyways. If you're wondering, this is where I pick them. You pick two of them, and then you have to world hop, and I will do this probably for a full inventory. That's probably going to be enough. Collected 28 red berries and I also world hopped a bit to get 13 pie dishes. I think that will be enough. I don't want to get blocked out of the game with too many world hops. So time to get the red berry pies done. It does take a while to actually make these. It's been 37 minutes now. Let's see if I can actually manage to not burn every single one of them. 78 experience on every single one is really, really good experience as well. And it seems like I'm not burning so far that many. So I'm probably going to get a level from this and I will probably be able to do another run of the same amount again. 18 cooking, pretty nice. I actually won't have time to go all the way to Varrock with no run energy in these uh, 8 minutes left pretty much and also make even more pies with that. So I'm going to be done with the pies right now and I got a total of 11 and I did actually eat some of them just to get more... Uh, well, I couldn't go to Varrock and get more pie dishes so it would have to do. But let's get another skill now, so let's reset this. And uh, hopefully, I really want mining actually. It would be pretty much the perfect skill to get right now. Wood cutting. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. That's really good. Of course, before I start doing wood cutting, I'm going to buy a steel axe for only 200 GP at the Bob's Axe store. Of course, a big upgrade from the bronze one. Only 12 minutes in, or 13 rather, 15 wood cutting. Perfect. I will have a lot of time to be able to get a lot of oak logs and bank them for uh, fletching experience. I actually really wanted to get all the way to 36, but I won't be able to get there. The main reason was that is the level I need for Lost City, but I also need a 31 crafting for that anyways. So I'll hopefully get woodcutting one more time in between. But I did bank all the oak logs that I got from that, and uh, let's go to the bank and check how many I have. 
And I actually got two nests as well, and they were really good. I got a medium clue, but I, I'm probably pretty sure I can't do that. And a willow seed as well, which will be nice for farming in the future. But let's uh, bank all of these 321 oak logs that I can use for probably fletching in the future. Uh, I think there's other ways to get the fire making experience that is uh, a lot easier. So I'm probably going to use it for fletching. But let's see what the next skill is going to be. Next skill is... Runecrafting. Um... Yeah, I can do the books in the Archaeos library for that. And that is uh, one hour done again of Archaeos library. And by the way, I'm 100 favor now, so I won't have to do that in the future, even though this is very easy. So let's use the last books on uh, runecrafting. By the way, here's the proof, one hour. So let's use all of them. And I'm getting 72 runecrafting experience per book. And yeah, that's quite a lot of experience for every level. I'm not that high. I start on level 9. So let's see where I ended. Will I get another level? Yep, okay, so I went from 9 to 20 runecrafting in that one hour. I think the best skill I can probably get now is mining or maybe fishing. Uh, the reason why mining would be really good is I can get both runescence and also I can get 10 mining for the knight's sword quest that I need to do earlier, uh, later on for smithing experience. So we'll have to see what I get. Mining would be the optimal thing. Fire making. Actually, I'm one fire making, so that's going to be pretty cool. I'm not going to use any of the logs that I have in my bank, so uh, I want to save that for fletching. But uh, I can just pick up normal logs in Lumbridge. Actually, meanwhile doing Gertrude's cat, I did realize there's a lot more logs here in the lumber yard, so I think this is probably a better uh, place to do it. So, time to start the one hour. Perfect timing. I am just a few seconds of the one hour, so let's uh, pause the timer there on the one hour. And this place was great, by the way. I had enough time to just pick up the logs, burn the ones I picked up, and then they were all respawned again. But I will just burn this last one here because I was stalling in the last seconds. 32 fire making. I really want to get 50 as soon as possible because then I can do winter toad. And in that, if you read the rules in the beginning of the video, on stuff like that, I can actually do the skills that entails that. Otherwise, I can't do Solcano and stuff like that and Winter Toad in the future, which will be a pain in the ass. So I'm be I will be able to do fletching and woodcutting with that. But 32 fire making in one hour on normal logs was really, really nice. Also got a ruby, by the way, from a random event. I have been doing some random events, but I haven't been showing the loots. Nothing really too interesting, like a tooth key piece and then two rubies. So let's see what the last skill is going to be, or, well, the next skill. Construction. That is a big challenge. But I'm actually going to end the video there. I think we did quite a lot in this video. We got the awesome agility done. 27, my run energy is feeling a bit better now. It's not great, but it's definitely better. Also some runecrafting level, woodcutting, like getting all these up was very, very nice. And, uh, well, in the next video we will start off with construction. And if you did like the video, please, please remember to leave a like, it really helps the video get seen. On the last episode I got over 120 likes, which is just insane. So thank you so much for that. And if you want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe. And you can click any video on the screen right now if you want to see either the first episode in this series or my PVMing main series. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. See you in the next one guys, take care.